In many cases, the upgrades you do to your gear matter more than the gear you choose. Now, the most common way you're going to incrementally upgrade your gear is through leveling up your gear by consuming other gear or equipment essence. It's important to note that the amount of equipment and essence that is required to level up a piece of equipment increases as the quality of the equipment goes up that you're trying to upgrade. So if I'm trying to upgrade a blue sword and I throw in a squire sword, it gets it most of the way through the way to level one. But if I go and do the same thing to a gray sword, it brings it all the way through level two. So it is cheaper to upgrade lower rarity equipment. Um, but despite this, and it also costs more gold to upgrade. That's one other item. Uh, so if I'm trying to upgrade a blue piece of equipment, I sacrifice a purple sword. It costs me 15000 If I try and do it to that, it only costs me $37.50. Um, despite this, it's going to be your best choice to upgrade purple equipment just because the power of the equipment scales much higher. It's more expensive, but the payoff's there. Um, the other way you're going to upgrade your equipment is by enhancing it. This provides larger upgrade boosts than leveling and is very crucial to progress in the game. For example, the Squire Sword at about a plus 20 enhancement is just as good as a plus 3 Crusader Sword, um, which you'll receive one of those swords as a login bonus after you've logged in for 7 days and claim the reward. Um, just for an example... Um, if you go to the event and then you go to this login after your seventh day of claiming this you'll get a free crusader sword um, but you would need to get three more of those and successfully enhance it three times just to match the power of a plus 20 square sword um, so that's going to be what you want to primarily upgrade early on in the game because the square sword is a very good sword um, in order to enhance a piece of equipment, you have to have another equipment of that type to absorb. So right here, I, if I wanted to enhance my Squire Sword, I have two other Squire Swords I could potentially try and use to enhance it. Um, you select the equipment you want to enhance, click Enhance, select the equipment you're trying to sacrifice, um, and then you're going to get a... Here's where you can see your potential stat bonus. So I could go from 13, 11 attack to if I it successfully enhanced it, it would go to 13, 80. Um, this improves based on how, what the level of the equipment is. So like currently it's a level 13 equipment. I would see a bigger jump if this was a level 30 piece of equipment. So you want to both make sure you enhance as well as level up your equipment. Note that this does have a possibility to fail. Um, the possibility to fail is lower on lower enhanced equipment. So if I wanted to enhance this cadet ring, I have a 70% percent, uh, probability to successfully enhance. But if I wanted to enhance, let's say, my cadet gauntlet, it's 45 because it's already plus 6. My squire sword has a 15% probability to succeed. But for each failure, you and try, every time you try to enhance and fail, you get a plus 3% enhanced chance to that equipment, which does stack. So you can see I have a bonus 12%, which means I've failed to enhance this to plus 15 four times. So eventually, I mean, even if you do fail a lot, you will eventually get the equipment to enhance. Um, it's important to note that the cost to enhance equipment it increases with the rarity of the equipment. So if I wanted to enhance a blue sword, it cost me 20 rebirth stones. If I wanted to enhance a squire sword at level 1, it would cost me 30. Now, if I wanted to go to plus 15, it also the cost in rebirth stones also increases every level you try and additionally enhance it. Um, the cost of hand, so because of this, a plus eight equipment will be more expensive to enhance than a plus four equipment. So you're gonna kind of want to be a little wise uh, regarding what equipment you're gonna enhance. Enhance. So for example, my cadet helmet, I don't really plan on enhancing it any further than plus five 
just because this does cost valuable rebirth stones, which there are other uses for, like buying stuff in the rebirth shot shop, because I'm hoping to replace this cadet helmet with a royal knight helmet pretty soon. And so this is really as far as I'm going to go as far as enhancing. I'm going to try and use my rebirth stones on the squire sword instead. If you have any other questions regarding upgrading equipment or anything else in general, let me know. Thanks for watching.